Video conferencing as a service, VAS, however you want to call it, very popular, everybody's talking about it. What is Polycom doing about it and why? Polycom's strategy related to video as a service is to go to market with our partners. Uh, we don't have a Polycom branded service that we're bringing to market. Uh, what we're doing is we're bringing our offerings together with our partners, whether it be a channel partner or a service provider. And uh, we, we go to market two ways. Uh, one way is uh, through a partner purchasing the infrastructure and building out their own service. Uh, and another way is Polycom is hosting uh, the infrastructure and giving our partners the capability to bring a white label service to market. So they'd put their brand on it. Uh, all they would do is offer the, the billing and the support. So it gives them a low cost entry into that specific market. Now from a from a customer perspective, and when you look at segmentation relative to video delivery, there's really kind of three, three key um, offerings that Polycom has in the market. Uh, the first one is purpose-built hardware, and many of our large enterprise customers uh, want reliab you know, high reliability, uh, they also want a high level of security, and they want to control uh, their, own, their own service within their enterprise. So they are typically going to purchase purpose-built hardware uh, that um, is optimized for that specific application. Uh, we also have software offerings uh, that give customers the capability to, uh, to purchase on a subscription. So if I'm, for example, a medium-sized company and want to offer video services within my organization and uh, we're growing leaps and bounds and I need scalability, uh, having software and being able to put that into virtual environments like a VMware virtual environment gives me a lot more flexibility. Uh, number one, the subscription uh, cost is about a third of what the uh, initial cost of purpose-built hardware would be. Uh, and then you need to look at that over several years, of course, uh, from a total cost of ownership perspective. But it gives you a lot more flexibility to scale up, scale down. Uh, and then video as a service, which is really targeted towards kind of the small to medium-sized business. They don't want to purchase infrastructure. Uh, they don't want to manage it. Uh, they would rather just subscri subscribe to a service and again be able to scale up, scale down. They typically don't have an IT department uh, that would be able to manage uh, infrastructure in the way that a, a medium or large uh, size company would be able to. So it gives them the capability to enter the category of, of video collaboration uh, with a, a very low cost, a monthly subscription. And then as they grow that, that, um, their employees and grow the offering, uh, they can just subscribe to more uh, uh, of the service and be able to offer it you know, throughout their organization. Do you feel this is what the AV industry should be doing more of, actually offering solutions and service rather than just providing kit? In a way, I know you're providing a lot of high value technology, but you know, um, I think there's, a, there's sometimes a bit of a disconnect between the technology and its purposeful use within companies. Yeah, the service component is, is absolutely critical uh, in a couple of ways. One is, uh, you know, if, if you break it up into different pieces, the implementation of the solution is critically important. What I think a lot of, um, a lot of our channel partners uh, and Polycom have not done well in the past is working closely with customers after we sell the equipment uh, to make sure that they understand how to use the equipment, uh, and what are the applications in terms of uh, which they can, we, they can use the equipment. Uh, so video is of course expanding beyond the conference room uh, and, uh, and so adding the mobility component, adding the desktop component gives people access in different locations whether they work from home, whether they're out on the road traveling and what Polycom does extremely well is we tie all of that together uh, relative to interoperability, standard space, being able to go outside of the firewall talk to customers, suppliers, and clients, and, and bringing all of that together so that the conference room connects to the desktop, connects to mobile applications, and that's going to help drive adoption. But the adoption services and customer success services are a critical component of, of helping a customer to be successful.